what is the best free way to promote your courses online? That's the question I'm going to answer in this video. Hi there, my name is CM Manjunath. On this channel, you're going to get information about course creation, course marketing, and selling your courses online effectively. If that interests you, please click on that subscribe button right now and click on the bell notification so that every time I publish a video on YouTube, it reaches your device. All right, without much ado, let's dive right in. So in this video, you're going to learn three very important concepts. We are going to start there with the number of, with the concepts, and then we'll look at five very cool techniques that you can employ, that you can do right after this video, and you can start seeing the results pretty quickly, okay? So five things that you can do, that you should do if you want to get free promotion for your online courses. And then there's one simple step of action. Okay, let's get started then. Concept number one. Back in 2019, there was a conference in which the CEO of YouTube, Susan, gave a speech and she said the number of monthly active users on YouTube was 2 billion users, 2 billion monthly active users on YouTube back in 2019. It's been two years and the number would have significantly grown. Now, the number of monthly, uh, the number of internet users, the internet using population in the world was 4.4 billion. And 2 billion means it was almost 50% of the world's internet population. Guess what? Now that number would have gone up, both the numbers would have gone up, which means it's safe to assume that 50% or more of world's internet population, world's population that uses the internet, uses YouTube on a monthly basis. Such is the power of this platform called YouTube. That's concept number one. Concept number two, and that is you've already known Google. Google is the most powerful search engine in the world. Of course, there is Baidu in China, Yandex in Russia, and other search engines as well. But the search engine with the highest market share in the world right now is Google. Guess what? The second largest search engine in the world is YouTube. Yes, YouTube is the second largest search engine in the world. So people go to Google, they also go to YouTube to find information, to discover, to find answers to their questions, to find solutions to the problem, how to build a website, how to prepare steak at home, how to do search engine optimization, how to sell your courses online. People go to YouTube to search and find information that they want you probably found this video by making such a search. So YouTube is the second largest search engine in the world, right? Number three, YouTube videos are discoverable. Now, when you think about LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, it's about the feed, it's about the news feed, it's about the Twitter stream. What happens is when you publish content there with time that vanishes, People don't get to see that again, unless they come to your profile looking for whatever you posted in the past. But when you think about YouTube, like I told you, it's like a search engine, which means even if you created a video years ago, and if it's applicable, applicable even in today's world, guess what? Your video can be discovered by people. It is searchable, discoverable, which makes YouTube again, very powerful compared to Facebook, LinkedIn, or Twitter from getting the content from the past perspective. From that perspective, YouTube is great. So three great concepts. Hopefully you got that. Number one, more than 50% of the world's internet population uses YouTube. Number two, YouTube is the second largest search engine in the world after Google. Number three, the content that you publish on YouTube is discoverable even years down the line, which makes it special compared to other social media platforms. All right, with those concepts out of the way, let's talk about the techniques. The five things that you can do, probably you guessed it already, on YouTube that can help you market and promote your online courses for free. So 
Here's the thing number one. Out of the five things, thing number one is topic research. What you'd want to do is even before you start making videos, which is what I'm recommending in order to get your course to be promoted for free, YouTube videos is the way to go. What you got to do is do the proper topic research. Even before you start making videos, go to platforms or websites such as answerthepublic.com, also asked.com. These two are great resources. I'll share the links in the description below. Check them out. They're wonderful. Or you can just go to Google, type whatever your niche is. So for example, you're in the weight loss niche. You can type weight loss or keto weight loss or whatever your, your niche is, type it in the search box. And as you look at the search engine results page, the SERP, you will find the questions. People also asked questions. So when you click them, you'll be able to see even more questions as they expand, the number of questions just expand. Now these questions are topic ideas for you, okay? So go to answerthepublic.com, also asked.com, or just go to Google, type in your niche and start looking at all the different questions that Google thinks that people ask, okay? That's topic research, that's all there is to it. You know what, in today's world content marketing, which is very powerful, I think I've spoken about this in, in a previous video, content marketing is the only type of marketing that's left in the world, according to Seth Gordon, who is a marketing guru. So creating content on YouTube is a wonderful way to attract your target audience, okay? There is no doubt in my mind that YouTube videos, content on YouTube can help you get leads for your business and you'd be able to sell to them. But before that, you should be clear about what problem are you solving? And that's why I'm asking you to do this topic research. By researching the topics, you'll be able to understand what questions does your target audience have in their mind? What, what's going on in their mind? What is that, that question in their mind that is stopping them from taking the next step? If you can answer that question satisfactorily, chances are people will buy from you. That is the power of researching your topic. So find out what your target audience's questions are, what their problems are. Now, apart from these different websites that I've spoken about. You can also go to Facebook, become part of your group, become part of Facebook groups within your niche and look at what kind of discussions go on. What are some of the concerns that your target audience seems to be bringing forth? What are some of the questions that they're asking? Those are all great ways to answer as a part of your content. So for many people creating content is a concern. And if you ask them what, what is stopping you from creating YouTube content, they usually say they don't know what the topic needs to be about. What should I make the video about, right? And that's the same question that I had not long ago. Now I know that my content needs to answer my target customer, your questions. Just like that, I'm sure your target audience will have questions. Figure that out, find out what those questions are, answer them, solve those problems. And guess what? People will look up to you and you'll be able to get them as a lead, okay? So number one thing you should do is topic research. Number two is keyword research. Now topic research is great. Remember I told you, YouTube is the second largest search engine in the world. What I mean by that is people actually go type it in the search box within YouTube to find videos that are relevant. You already know that. What you probably did not know is that as you type something in that search box, Google automatically suggests, by the way, Google owns YouTube. So YouTube automatically suggests to you in the search, which is called auto completion or auto suggestion. Those are popular searches. Okay, people are already searching like that on YouTube. What that means to you is those are the questions that they have in mind. And guess what? You've got to create content around that. So another great idea to really find out 
what people are actually typing within the YouTube search box as it auto completes. You should be able to pick up those and start creating content around that. By doing that, like I already told you, those are popular searches, which means people, your target audience would be able to find your videos. When they find your videos, they'll watch them. It'll add value to them. And if they like what you do, again, if your answers are satisfactory, if it's of high quality, they will not think twice to become a lead, to become your customer, to become your student. Okay. I'm sure this is an exciting part, right? Number one, conduct topic research. Number two, find the keywords. What do people search on YouTube? Okay, so that you your videos can be discovered. All right, number three, competitor research. Now, once you found out what are the key terms that people would use on YouTube to find videos that you are going to make, you should also do that search and see who are all ranking on the YouTube search results. Okay, open up these videos, play them, watch them, and see what they're doing. What is the approach they're taking? What is the angle they are using when providing information, okay? When providing content. Look at the thumbnail. What is the thumbnail that, that they've used? What is the kind of color combinations? Are they using more text or is it mostly images? What is the title like? Does the title and YouTube thumbnail congruent? If not, think about what is going on. By doing all of these, by analyzing your competitors' videos, you learn a lot, okay? And if you like somebody's videos, you can pick up patterns, learn from that, and you can use your own style of doing that thing, okay? So what I'm telling you is not to copy other people's videos, but doing competitor research is a great way to learn what's working already on YouTube. If they're already ranking for certain search terms, obviously they are doing something right. So it is a good idea to learn from what they're doing. Thumbnail, titles, maybe tags and more. Okay. And also watching the video, you'll, you'll get the structuring of the content. How do they provide information? And you can think about ways to make it even better. That's what you've got to do, okay? So number one, topic research. Number two is keyword research. Number three is competitors research. I hope you're finding value so far. Let's move on to number four, right? Number four, answer questions. Now I've already spoken about this. Now, once you know what the topic that your target audience cares about, how they search on Google, which is keyword research, and you also understand how your competitors are trying to answer those questions. By this time, after you complete these three steps, three things, you will have a very clear idea about what your content needs to be out about, what your title, what your keyword needs to focus on. And also you will know how to structure your video content. It's as simple as that, okay? You can learn from your competition. That's number four. So answer your target audience's questions. Solve their problems and they'll love to buy your course. Number five, thing to do. Number five, keep it consistent. Now, there are so many YouTubers that, that come up, make some 15, 20, 50 videos and they realize they're not getting enough search traffic or views on their YouTube videos. And they believe that only influential YouTubers can make videos and get views. They couldn't be further from the truth. Don't worry about it. What you've got to do is follow everything that I've spoken about. Do your topic research, conduct your keyword research, look at your competition, Go with the mindset of solving problems, adding value, answering people's questions, your target audience's questions. When you do that in a consistent manner, which is what the fifth point is, keep it consistent. Make consistent videos that add value for the first six months, one year, two years even. Don't think about how many views you're getting. It's not about the number of views. It's about adding value when you do that 
and people are able to discover your videos, they will watch, okay? And one of the key factors that YouTube considers in order to see how good your video is, how qualitative your video is, is the watch time. So if even if a few, very handful number of viewers watch your videos for a good amount of time, okay? If there is enough watch time on your videos, guess what? YouTube will start showing your video on the recommendations and the homepage and all that good stuff. So keep it consistent. All right, so there we have it, five things. Number one, topic research. Number two, keyword research. Number three, competitor research. Number four, answer your target audience's questions. Number four, keep it consistent and you're bound to succeed. There is no doubt in my mind, you will succeed. You'll be able to freely promote your online courses. You don't need to spend money on Facebook ads and Instagram ads. If you did this, religiously, there's a very high probability that you'll be able to sell your courses online successfully. Okay. I hope this video was useful. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you believe that somebody will benefit from this video, please share this video with them. It takes only a couple of seconds. Please subscribe to this channel so that you get such in-depth, very valuable, useful content about course creation, marketing your courses and selling your courses online effectively. And before you go, I'm going to give a link to my Facebook group. On that Facebook group, there are trainers from across the world. You could learn from their experiences. You can bounce ideas, ask questions, get them answered and learn about course creation, course marketing and selling your online courses. The name of the Facebook group is Digital Trainers Hub. I leave a link in the description below. Please click on that. Join that group right now. I'd love to see you as a part of my community where we'll add a lot of value. All right. Thank you very much for watching. My name is CM Manjanath. You have a good one. God bless.